Hi, this is Edip Yüksel, uh, March 16, 2020. Uh, I would like to defend Bernie Sanders against criticism repeated in social media and on uh, TV news channels. Uh, it is usually levied by establishment and the billionaire class uh, by the way, English is my fifth language, therefore please don't get stuck with my accent and I bet you will understand me because I've been teaching for 20 years. My students are very happy with my English. Okay, uh, first I would like to basically repeat, uh, these are uh, some of my books. Uh, it, is, it starts from all the way here, it goes up, anyway, uh, it's just a little, and I don't make money from my books on religion, most of them on religion, therefore, don't consider that it is advertisement for money. I promote Islamic reform, therefore, as a reformist Muslim, as a progressive Muslim, I endorse Bernie Sanders, in fact, I think Bernie is the best thing happened to America in America regarding politics since I have been here for about 30 years I bet it is once in a hundred years maybe in a millennium you see a guy who stands for principles who is uh, for people who is decent who is courageous who is like Socrates like Galileo like Jesus like Muhammad and um, well, I'm not saying he's the chosen one, <laughs> like the evangelical Christians say, but uh, one of the worst guys in politics. Um, anyway, here it is. The first one is, Bernie is too old, one of the Christians. My answer, I have to take this one off. And somehow millennials love Bernie. Wonder why? Bernie's passion for justice his intellectual acumen, acumen in exposing the rigged system, his energy to fight for working class is extraordinary. Thus, he is the most popular candidate among the youngest voters. In fact, he gets less votes from those 65 than all other candidates. I am 63, I am for Bernie, with passion. Bernie is younger than Bezos, Bill Gates, William Buffett, Bloomberg, and Donald Trump. Okay, the second criticism by the establishment and billionaire class, the rigged duopoly system where donkey and elephant, regardless of which one is leading, they are pulling the stagecoach of billionaire class. Both parties serve their masters. This is so obvious. If you haven't seen this, you are very ignorant and you are mesmerized by propaganda. Bernie is a socialist, they say. Well, do you really think that you will be able to scare me with social, socialist or social democrat? We see how capitalism is. It is a corrupt religion that runs with lies and legalized theft. The crisis once a while, it is another way of stealing big. It is a rigged system and allows three individuals accumulate more wealth than half of the U.S. population. But more than 150 million people. Count until three. One, two, three. Bill Gates, Bezos, and Buffett. And also count how to... 150 million people, the great Americans. You will see how small they are in terms of distribution of wealth. It is a rigged system where banks every year make billions, yes, with B, from people in poverty. If their balance sheet is five cents overdraft, they are hit by a $35 overdraft fee. Three banks alone Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo, I remember, made $7 billion in 2017, 
just from this item alone, one item alone, overdraft fee, from the poorest of the poor, from the weakest of the weak, they soften money to the billionaires, to corporations. No sophistry and no magician spell and no cler clergyman smoke will be able to enter such a giant elephant into the eye of a needle. In case you don't understand it, let me repeat the last sentence. No sophistry and no magician spell and no clergyman smoke will be able to enter such a giant elephant into the eye of a needle. Okay, the third criticism, Bernie is a Jew, some say, some whisper. So was Israel, so was Moses, Israel is prophet Israel, so Moses, so was Jesus, so was Einstein, so is Chomsky, Noam Chomsky. Too many great men and women who contributed in every aspect of our lives were Jews. Of course, we have bloody Jews like Netanyahu, artist Jews like Natalia Portman, and greedy Jews like Kushner and Zuckerberg. Bernie Sanders is Jew following the line of Moses. Another criticism. Bernie does not a proven, does not have a proven record of getting things done. That's not Bernie. He doesn't have proven record. Well, Bernie did pass a few, such as Vegetarian's Compensation Cost of Living Adjustment Act of 2013 and made amendments to hundreds of bills. But, indeed, Bernie passed much less legislation than his peers. He could draft corporate-friendly bills and pass all of them in a jiffy. But he is a man of principles. In a rigged duopoly system, the things got done are not good enough. Not even close. They are just tinkering and patchwork. They are just tinkering and patchwork. Band aid to protect the rigged and corrupt capitalist religion against a progressive social revolution. We do not need to pass more laws as safety valves for corporations. We do not need more laws to keep the working class barely above the water. We need a revolution, a social democratic revolution. Not socialism for billionaires, but socialism for people. Another criticism levied against Bernie Sanders by establishment and the billionaire class. Ten years ago, Bernie got donations from big donors. So what? If the story is true, then ten years ago, he thought that he could beat the system by playing according to its rules. Then he realized it's impossibility. The more the corporate media smear Sanders, the more we will work hard to elect him. Another objection to Bernie. If Bernie come to power, the world will end. <laughs> well, I'm not doing the hyperbole. This, uh, I, we have seen so many uh, ridiculous objections to Bernie. This is one of them I had read. The end of capitalism will be like this will be buried under the unconsumed production. We'll not be able to move our obese bodies in lands we infected, we poisoned. We'll not be able to swim in the beaches of seas we poisoned. We'll not be able to smell fresh air in atmosphere we polluted. We'll be condemned to the hell we created through our greed, waste and injustice all because we led ourselves to believe in creating heaven on earth in the name of one of the biggest hoaxes called capitalism. Capitalism is consuming us. We are the consumed. 
he was anyway the phone entered I have to turn it off okay telemarketers another criticism Bernie has three houses and he is he is a millionaire that's true but you cannot compare him to a billionaire billionaire a billionaire is thousands of times wealthier than Bernie unlike billionaires and their stooges Bernie wants to pay more tax to improve the condition of working class. He himself wants to pay more tax on his wealth. Bernie knows that even if he gives away all his wealth, it will not change the corrupt and rigged system. So we need a revolution. Another objection. What has Bernie done in 40 years? He recently for Disney, uh, forced Disney and Amazon to pay their workers $15 per hour. He's not even in power. He's not even the leader of the minority party. Okay? But whatever leverage he had, he used that to the max and he was able to force these two companies to increase their minimum wage. But how can you accuse an independent and honest social democrat for not doing anything if you voted for corrupt politicians? Let me repeat. How can you accuse an independent and honest social democrat or democratic socialist for not doing anything if you voted for corrupt politicians. Do you also accuse Jesus for being crucified? Okay. Finally, let me finish with this one. We see that three individuals own more wealth than half of Americans. This alone is a sufficient reason to fundamentally change this rigged and corrupt system. Adhering of capitalistic religion will never comprehend why we love Bernie. Don't be a dinosaur. Open your mind and heart. Peace. You may visit 19.org and my Twitter address is at Edip Yuxel, E-D-I-P-Y-U-K-S-E-L. Peace.